Pretty much every group of animals, from fish to frogs and mammals to snakes, have had a go at getting airborne. But only a few have dramatically changed their skeleton and truly mastered powered flight. The ultimate flyers have to be the birds. Their bones have adapted not only for a life up in the sky, but also down in the ground and even under the water. How did the skeleton enable birds to become so successful? First up, the evolution of wings. Surprisingly, the blueprints for all vertebrate wings can be seen in the primate skeleton, like this gorilla, and you and me. These five digits are known as the pentadactyl limb and first appeared in land animals over 300 million years ago. Basically, it was from five fingers like ours, the winged flight has evolved independently three times. And to see how these bones first helped animals take to the skies, I'm going back to the time of the dinosaurs. The first vertebrates to become true flyers with fully formed wings and sustained flight were a type of flying reptile, the pterosaurs. This is a fossil cast of Pterodactylus antiquus, a young pterosaur, about as big as a starling. The smallest, though, were only the size of sparrows. But the biggest pterosaurs, they were massive. They had a wingspan of over 10 metres. They were the largest flying animals to have ever lived. Their wings would fill this room. Pterosaurs dominated the skies for 150 million years and had wings modified from the original five-fingered blueprint. This is clear when compared alongside a human hand. The first three digits adapted as grasping claws, and the fifth digit was lost. 